So this one is the same thing, but you're saying, hey, I don't have Visual Studio. So this is actually using Visual Studio Code, which is a free product from Microsoft. And this time I'm gonna build a version of this same, of a similar application that could actually run on Linux, right? So instead of using the NuGet editor, I go to .NET, I go to the command line, and I type .NET add package, one identity safeguard .NET, right? It goes and pulls that in. This is gonna be more of a fully fledged project, so actually pull in a logging package so that I can get you good out to output, because built into the safeguard.net library is actually some logging instrumentation, right? If you wanna know what's going on inside your API calls, we use a, a technology called, um, called Siri Log, but I can go to that command line, generate a project, and here I am already writing code, right? So I can jump in, and I can write a bunch of code. Some of this is gonna be a little bit um, tricky for those of you that don't know C-sharp, but for your developers, this is, this is run-of-the-mill code. Um, all I'm doing is creating a logger and saying, hey, would you print out a color console of all of this information coming out of, of the logger? Then I say, hey, I'd like to connect to the Safeguard AKA event API and I want to get a persistent API listener, right? And what a persistent listener is a, is a special class that I've added to this package that we're gonna demonstrate in this video, which is even though Safeguard goes offline, I'd like you to stay connected and to keep listening for events. So that's just one line of code, right? I wanna create a listener and then I tell it to start, and I say, when I press a key, would you please exit? That's all it does. So in the middle, all it's doing is logging every event that happens, every event that it's listening for but I only told it to listen for A to A events, which is just going to be, hey, a password change. Mm -hmm. So then I jump on a PowerShell command line, I connect to Safeguard, and I go and change the password, okay? Um, if you pull up my, uh, my other window in a minute here, you can see that there's the new password event. It says, hey, this password changed on that asset you were looking at, okay? Mm -hmm. Now on that same command line window, I'm gonna say, I wanna reboot Safeguard because uh, let's just see if this thing's robust, because in your DevOps environments, things have to stay available, right? I can't have to go and re restart everything because Safeguard went offline. So I go and I invoke reboot. Somewhere along here, I fast forward a little bit because you guys don't wanna, you wanna see it, but right there I'm highlighting, hey, SignalR detected that it was disconnected, which is that the event notification connection um, was, was determined to be offline. Fast forward a little bit, Safeguard goes down, Safeguard comes back up, and it's reconnecting, and it's ready to listen. This, I'm just highlighting right here that <coughs> it's successfully connected, and it started again listening for events. And I can jump back on and change the password, watch the event update down below. There it is, right? So what this is trying to do is, is highlight the fact that in DevOps environments, we need resilience. And we wanted to make that easy. Something that you can get in just a few lines of code um, so that when we are orchestrating these things and we're building um, these deployments, that things are gonna stay online. Because that's the only thing that security can't, can't do is get in the way of production, right? Things have to stay online. 